Hey, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Denoise AI by Topaz Labs. Now, if you've been watching the channel for any time at all, you know I'm a big fan of Topaz Labs. I've been using their products for a really long time. And Denoise is something that I haven't really looked at very closely. So I'm going to take a look and run it through the paces and kind of show you the basics of what it does. And we'll take a look at how effective it is. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial using your own image, use the link below to go to Topaz's site and download the free demo and you can try it out and decide if it's right for you. Also at the end of the video I'm going to tell you a way to get the software a little cheaper than normal if you decide you want to use it. And so now it's time for the intro. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop, and this is the image I have selected for us to work with as kind of our test image. And why I think this is good is I shot this image at 6400 ISO on the 5D Mark III. Even though that camera is pretty good at higher ISOs, all things considered, once you get up to 6400, most cameras are going to start giving you trouble. And uh, if we get in here close, you will see we got tons of noise in the background, and the, especially here in the white. I thought this would be a really nice image to use because it's got a background area, it's got some nice rich texture uh, through here with all this wood texture, and it's got a clean white area. So it's going to show us a variety of looks all in the same image. So I thought this would be a good test. So what I'd like to do is, first off, let's try going and working on this just in camera raw and seeing how much we can fix that noise just in camera raw. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to 200%, getting really close so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll come down here to the detail area. And I'm going to start kind of tweaking this noise reduction up a little bit. And I'm, right now I'm kind of watching this white area to see when the noise in there disappears. And I think we're looking pretty good there. We've still got noise here in the background. Let's try bringing this up a little bit more. And I'm bringing the color up and the noise up. It's super noisy. Okay, I think we've gone a little too far there. Let's dial it back a little bit. The problem we're running into, of course, is as we start making this noise disappear, we're also starting to lose texture in there. So I'm going to bring some sharpening in to try and fix that. But of course, the sharpening is going to also bring us more noise. So I'm going to just get close. Um, and I think we're pretty good right here. I'm going to go ahead and go with this. So we'll go ahead and hit open. And that's our Photoshop file. Let's just set this aside for the time being and take a look at this one. For this one we're going to try and use the Topaz Denoise AI and see how it works. So we'll come up here to filter, Topaz Labs. You can see I've got a bit of a Topaz hoarding problem. Uh, we'll go to Denoise AI. Okay, here we are. This startup screen kind of tells you some information there. We'll close out of that. Now what we've got set up here is kind of a left-right compare We've got the uh, original, obviously, over here. Maybe, maybe align it like this. So again, I want to be able to see the white, the wood tones, and the background. So over here is our original, and right here is Topaz kind of already going to work. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of your options up here. Your view is how you're looking at it, uh, a split view where you're going back and forth. I kind of like this side-by-side where um, we're just looking at both of them at the same time. Navigator, of course, shows where we are on the image. Auto Update Preview, what this means is every time you do something, it goes ahead and processes and shows you where you are, which can be good and it can be bad. I like it because I don't want to make a bunch of changes and then hit it and there's something I don't like and I don't know which one of those changes ended up pushing us the wrong direction. However, the downside is every time you make a slight adjustment, you gotta wait a second, then make another adjustment, so it slows you down a tiny bit while you're waiting for that to process every time. But I still like it better because I know exactly what caused each effect that I'm looking at. Now there's two different ones. You've got Denoise AI and AI Clear. And if you click on the little question mark, it, it'll basically tell you that uh, the AI is, Denoise AI is a little bit slower but gives you a little more detail. And the Clear 
it is kind of your faster option. Works great with a lot of images, but maybe it's not quite as detail intensive as the Denoise AI. I'm going to go with the Denoise AI. Maybe at some point we'll go back and do a comparison between the two. That would be an interesting uh, video to work on. If that interests you at all, leave me a comment. Let me know, and we'll see if we get much interest in that. But we're going to go with AI for now. Auto detect settings is basically you're telling it to go ahead and make its own decision and it goes ahead and does what it thinks is right for the image, which is usually a pretty good starting point. We're gonna start with that for now, and then we're gonna start working through these ourselves. One thing we do have on here is this low light mode, which is specifically, if you hit on, again, on this question mark, it's for high ISO raw files, which is exactly what we're dealing with here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit on for that, and basically tell it that we're working with a ISO situation. And so right now, I'm gonna move this up a tiny bit more. We're getting pretty good on this white. Um, I feel like I might take away a little more noise, try and get that white exactly where we want it, but I think we're pretty good. The noise is gone in the background and uh, looks pretty good here. I don't know, it looks like we're at 34 sharpening. We can play around with this recover original detail. I feel like we've gotten pretty good detail in here, but just for grins, let's run that up to 10 and see if we're happier. Really bringing back any noise, let's do a tiny bit more. And sometimes it's just a matter of playing with it, tweaking up, tweak up the sharpness a little bit until you start seeing noise again. And you're just kind of, again, you can just go with the auto detect and that's gonna get you, it looks to me, uh, about 90% of the way there. And if that's all you want to do, you're probably fine. But I like to go in and kind of tweak these a little bit. And I feel like we're getting pretty good here. No noise back here in the back. I don't really see too much color noise through here. And we still got really nice texture. And the white is what y'all was worried about is mostly gone in the noise. I'm gonna bump this up from nine to like say 12. And you've got this color noise reduction, which again, you can click on these little question marks and it'll tell you what all this is. But this is, um, sometimes you'll get some noise in the colors after all these things happen and you can use this to reduce it. I haven't really had to use it yet and I don't really notice. Let's, just for grins, bring it up to 0.52 and see what we notice. See, I don't really see that it's doing much. I don't think I had too much color noise introduced. So, um, I don't know. Let's leave it at 0.10 just for grids, just so we can feel like we're getting our money's worth out of the program using all the features. But right now, I'm pretty happy with how this is. I'm gonna give it a tiny bit more sharpening just because I feel like we can, and make sure that doesn't bring back any noise, and I think we're good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit apply, and this will take a second to get there, but we'll use our YouTube time machine and jump ahead. Okay, so now we're back in Photoshop. It took just under a minute on my computer. Depends on how big of a file you're using, how fast your computer is, and your graphic cards, and things like that. But in our case, it took just under a minute. So let's go in here, and what I'm gonna do, let's run these up to 200% and look at them side by side. All right, so now we've got the Photoshop version over here on the left, or the, I guess, just camera raw noise adjustment on the left and topaz here on the right. And so let's start with the background. I think the background definitely we've done a better job of noise reduction on the right. It, if we compare these a little closer, not really much comparison. It is way less noisy um, in the background area. So let's look at the wood tone here. Move this over to the edge, put it right here. And I think the noise reduction is pretty similar. I don't really see too much noise in here um, versus this one. I think I'd say the noise reduction is somewhat similar. However, much more sharpness and detail. I think the wood tone, especially some of these little things here, uh, looks much more detailed and sharp looking through here than what you see here. This is noticeably softer, uh, you know, as a side effect of of that denoise, or of the taking away the noise through raw. Now let's look at the white. I think this white's pretty clean, and still got a little bit of noise in here. It's a certainly acceptable amount of noise, but I do think if we put them just side by side, 
this is a cleaner white than that. You can definitely see that in there. So I think really for such a high ISO image, I think Topaz did a really good job of cleaning up that noise, but still hanging on to an awful lot of detail and giving us a very usable picture from something that was super noisy before. So I think that really worked nicely and I was happy with it. And what I like about it is you've got the option of doing the fully automated, letting it make all the decisions, or you going in and tweaking it exactly to what you want. And one of the things I've noticed in the software as well, if you have multiple images that are all from the same shoot, that all have the same amount of noise or same type of noise, you can actually go in and fix one of them and apply that to multiple images at one time. So it really is handy if you're running into problems with noise in your images. So what did you think about Denoise AI? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And by the way, if you decide Denoise AI is something you just can't live without, use the promo code LARRYPHOTO and get 15% off, which is kind of cool. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. And I hope to see you back soon for more videos. Take care. Bye-bye.